I want to thank you for supporting us and building a brighter future for our students. We remain steadfast to ensure that our facilities, our schools are of top notch and are the best within the state of California. We will never stop trying to do that. There's a lot more work to be done and we always look for continued funding to do that. Measure M, due to the support and the trust of our community, passed in 2016. It was a tremendous opportunity for the district to essentially create and transform Almost every single school was modernized. Many elements of our schools that you don't see behind the walls, the interior infrastructure, behind the scenes work, electrical technology, fire alarm, roofing, all those key elements have been repaired at many schools. Measure M's been a great support to us at our schools. What we notice, most notably for me at Tanaya Middle School, I notice the great expansion of the outdoor spaces. We have a great stage that's been expanded and enhanced. The overall space is really being used a lot as we build our culture of our school. One of the noted improvements I would say in students is just their respect for the campus of how they treat things. They see a nice clean campus that's been cared for and that there's an investment from the community and that's basic respect of how they treat the campus and the, each other on the campus. Some of our improvements here in our Franklin Elementary School, we've uh, modernized our HVAC system. We also improved our safety measures. We've added new tinted windows for safety protocols. We have added new doors where teachers are able to secure the doors from the inside, not through the outside. The other improvement are lighting shelves. We've had a lot of storage for our teachers to put all their curriculum, activities, and it's easier access for not only our staff but also our students. I also want to share about our new parking structure. It's been modernized this last year. We took one of the roundabouts and made it a longer roundabout for our students to be dropped off and picked up. It's an easier access to walk to our office. We have seen improvements to our outdoor facilities, which our students are playfully utilizing air temperature control, where students are comfortable and also providing proper heating during our colder months. I've also had the opportunity to visit classrooms and see the state-of-the-art new ed specs in our classrooms allow for teachers to better organize their classrooms, which allows for student centers with the type of desk that we use. It allows for just more opportunities for storage and just have an environment where students feel welcome. In addition to moving students out of portable buildings into permanent structures, these classrooms will allow teachers to become more innovative in the way they run their day, set up their classrooms, and collaborate together throughout the school year. MCSD would like to thank Merced for their support as this will improve the facilities for generations to come. I'm very excited to see these projects reach the finish line and can't wait to see what the future holds for Merced City School District. I once again want to thank you for your steadfast support and ensuring that our students have everything they need to be successful. It's about the support that you gave our students in Merced. Merced City School District benefits from your trust and we just want to thank you all for your support. So I'd like to take a moment as well to thank the community for all the support as we know that it is a large investment, but there is no greater investment in our future than investing in our children now. And I look forward to seeing more support from our community as we help our students to become the best that they can be. Mm -hmm.